Hello friends, uh, so we take the YouTube channel to the next level and include analytics and machine learning uh, as a series of learning videos. Uh, what is to follow is, is uh, basic concepts and how we can uh, implement that uh, using R as a programming language for data exploration and model building and then how we can deploy the same into Azure machine learning. Uh, so what I have today is, is uh, the next set of videos will be short ones and uh, building on the concepts and implementation. Uh, I start with the most simplest one that is the statistical uh, machine learning part. Uh, I start with the linear regression today. Uh, so let's say uh, what is a linear regression uh, model and uh, how do we understand and explain that simply. Uh, simply put, if I were to explain you, a linear regression would uh, simply mean uh, it's a relationship what we are trying to build is, is a relationship between a, a dependent and an independent and multiple independent uh, uh, variables so uh, we call the dependent variable as a regression and 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 uh, the independent ones as a regressor or the predictor variable so uh, I'll try to take an example before the definition so let's say there is a firm which is trying to draw a correlation between the uh, sales and the advertisement so we just got two attributes or, or, or two design features as we call it in the uh, in, in uh, data science uh, advertisement is is an independent variable and and what we are trying to determine is the sales so sales becomes uh, my regressant and advertisement as the regressor or the predictor variable since advertisement is uh, predicting my sales amount so here if I were to tell you uh, my Y or the regressant is, is again the sales which I am trying to infer or draw uh, through a relationship and uh, X1 is a regressor or predictor variable. So there could be multiple X uh, independent uh, regressors uh, uh, which could lead to a, a, a linear relationship. Now what we are trying to draw is uh, we are trying to draw a relationship between the sales and the amount and the advertisement so uh, and, and fortunately for this example what we see is it's it's a, a linear relationship now if we were to go back to our school days and if you can remember the formula y is equal to mx plus c uh, let's try to start from here so i think we must have all uh, studied and come across this formula uh, in during our school time what this means is uh, y is uh, the dependent variable which is which can be calculated if we know the value of x and and, and the m and the c's now what each of the mean is uh, i would say we are trying to determine y and we are and, and we know there is a variable which uh, which is x uh, and and then there is a m m is actually the slope which uh, helps us uh, understand as, as to what amount of m multiplied with with x uh, helps me determine a y and then there is a constant c which is also called as intercept uh, so uh, I, I, and if we were to know all three of these uh, we would be able to determine uh, or predict a way, predict y so simply put this is the formula of a, of a linear regression with multiple x's again so now what we understand is we uh, should be knowing the coefficients in data science you would call this m as a coefficient and uh, c as the uh, intercept uh, and x as the independent uh, variable which is the regressor or the predictor now let's go back to our deck and, and try to see uh, what we are trying to estimate is as a firm is interested in estimating the relationship between advertisement and sales uh, and and we saw that in the data now this is the data and this is the graph so so basically when we plot the sales against the advertisement we can find almost a, a 45 degree or or, or, a, or a linear relationship uh, between the sales and the advertisement uh, based on this we can draw that there is a certain kind of uh, of a behavioral aspect based on the number of a uh, number of millions uh, spent on advertisement uh, with respect to the sales uh, occurring because of the advertisement uh, Having said that, we move on and that's uh, and, and understand what is a statistical model. So we have a data, we we have a set of set of uh, data which uh, could be a sample or the complete population which we might take. In case the data is is too huge, you might draw multiple samples and then try to study uh, and explore the data 
<coughs> and then once you understand with the hypothesis which is for this case we have uh, said that there is a there's a, that there is a linear relationship between the sales and the advertisement having if if we know uh, the advertisement amount spent we will be somewhere uh, able to uh, draw a conclusion and and predict the value of of sales occurring in future having said that that becomes a hypothesis and, and that becomes a, 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 a starting point of a statistical model now what a statistical model <laughs> spits out is is a set of coefficients a set of a set of uh, biases or, or, or uh, intercepts and based on which and there is an error component now there is the coefficients or the uh, the intercepts are systematic components because uh, the model is able to infer and understand that this uh, that the amount uh, uh, predicted in the coefficient and the intercept explain somewhere the linear relationship however there will be some part of of the data or, or some part which cannot be explained uh, and which is the error uh, which would not be explained certainly so building a statistical model as i said the first starting point is, is understanding and exploring the data uh, then drawing a hypothesis uh, and assuming that uh, there is a certain relationship what we said was there is a linear regulation uh, linear relationship for this uh, data that we have that is a hypothesis and we have to understand that the end at the end of it uh, that hypothesis holding good we should be able to predict the dependent or the regression now estimate the parameters and from the data set that is estimating uh, the the coefficients and and estimating the residual and co and conduct a test of acceptance of the hypothesis whatever we have assumed and the hypothesis we would try to understand them and and, and having uh, and they holding good we can uh, certainly say that 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 uh, the data is, is is following such kind of a regression or such kind of a, a, a hypothesis and hence we can move on and deploy this and, and make our decisions based off uh, on that particular model which we have chosen uh, that would explain that now uh, revisiting the sales advertisement what we see here the, that the regression line what we see here is is, is the uh, actual points and the best fitted regression line having said that there will be certain error involved even when we are trying to fit a best possible line uh, so there is the slope which is, is and then there is an intercept as you can see uh, but there is also an error component uh, which uh, is not explainable uh, so that will always be there uh, a, for the best of the best uh, fit now you have to understand the significance of how much you can withstand with terms with, in terms of error we will see, see that as an example in our next uh, video when we when we go hands on with this example and implement this in R uh, again what we are trying to do is, is we are trying to have a simple formula uh, what we are trying to do is we are saying sales uh, will be equal to some coefficients into uh, advertisements uh, plus there will be some intercept so this is the kind of formula that we are looking for and if our hypothesis is holding good we should be able to draw some sort of a coefficient and the intercept for us to be able to predict the sales uh, and that's that's all this model would be all about because we have talked about the linear regression uh, and the linear, linear relationship uh, so we'll be looking in the next video uh, in R how we can best understand and implement this and uh, after that we will move on to Azure ML and we will try to deploy this model into Azure and, and expose that as an API and see how best we can help business consume this as an API and, and help predict uh, 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 the, the relationship that we've talked about. Uh, so this is just an icebreaker uh, and I hope uh, I have been able to explain the linear regression ship in the uh, uh, relationship uh, in, in a best possible uh, manner. Uh, hoping for, uh, looking forward to the next video on our uh, stay tuned. Thank you so much.